thought I'd make a little movie showing how to do how to create explosion sound effects in Audacity. So I'm just going to start up Audacity here. First thing you want to go is go to tracks, add new audio track, and generate <coughs> white noise. And I'm just going to generate two seconds worth. Zoom in on that a little bit. Doesn't sound much like an explosion to begin with. Um, first thing to do is fade out. Starts already sounding a little bit like an explosion. Um, first thing to do is duplicate it and then change speed. Um, boost it by about 60% or so. That's going to do two things. First, it's going to shorten it, and it's going to have the effect of putting more high frequencies, less low frequencies. So you're going to front load the thing with high frequencies. We're going to come back and filter out some of the high frequencies on this other one. But let's play this. Well, then you do the same thing. You duplicate this. Effect change speed. Oh, and while we're at it, let's fade these guys out again. Let's get rid of this one. Effect change speed. Effect fade out. So by multiply fading out, you also they, they get this kind of curve thing happening here. So uh, it fades out faster and faster. So you're really front loading the front of this thing with high frequencies. That's the idea. So now we've got four of these things. Let's see what it sounds like, just like this, without doing anything else. Starting to get closer. So next thing to do is grab this big one, and we're going to run a low-pass filter on it at about 100 hertz. And that really knocks down the volume, so you got to amplify it back up. Not all the way, but pretty good. Now, let's mute these other guys so we can hear what this sounds like. Still a little too high, so we're going to... The thing is, we can run this low-pass filter again, with uh, 100 hertz again. Amplify, okay. Starting to get low. Let's see, we can do... Let's run that one more time. So I'm running this low pass filter three times on this bottom one. That gives you a nice low rumble. I'm going to do this bass boost thing here too. Uh, I'm going to not do that much though. I'm just going to do it a little bit. So you get this nice low rumble. Now on this one, I'm going to do nearly the same thing, low pass filter, but this time it's going to be 200 hertz. Effect amplify, okay. And I'm going to run it twice. Low pass filter, 200 hertz, okay. Effect amplify, okay. Now let's see what these guys sound like. It's already getting more explosion-y. I'm going to do the same thing on this one, except 400 hertz. So you run the low-pass filter, amplify it, run the low-pass filter again, amplify it. See what this sounds like. Now we're going to unmute this one. And we get a nice little pop. This guy needs, I think, a low pass. I'm going to put him at 1200 hertz. Let's see what 
that sounds like. That's a little better. I'm going to do... Now I'm going to select all of these guys. And mix and render. Now we get it down to one track. Effect, bass boost just a little bit. Now I'm going to add a sort of poor man's reverb. Duplicate, effect, amplify. I'm going to knock it way back about minus 12 or 13, minus 13. I'm going to grab the little thing, slidey over here, <clears throat> and then I'm going to duplicate that one, amplify, knock it back just a little bit, slide it over, duplicate, slide it over, oops, One thing I always do is I end up having both of them selected when I only want one. Slide it over. So basically, several copies of this thing. Uh, reduced in volume and sort of echoes, basically. Just sort of and uh, let's see what that sounds like. Now you get those little secondary pops, which don't really sound right. So, what you can do is grab the front end of them and fade them in, and then they don't pop. much. If they pop a little too much, you can knock them back. That one's popping a little too much for my taste, so I'm going to knock him back just a little. Finally select them all, mix and render, that truncate silence to get rid of the silence at the end, and nice explosion y sound. If it's a little you can uh, slow it down and see what it sounds like a little bit. Seems like a little too poppy at the front. A little too high frequency, so I'm going to run a low pass filter at about 2200. takes a little bit of that snap off the front of it. Gives it a deeper, boomier kind of sound. All just depends on what you're going for, but just messing around with white noise and filtering and fading out and speeding and mixing like I've done here, you can make an explosion from nothing. So, pretty cool. Anyway, hope you find it helpful.